Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. I pray the audio is okay. I feel like it might be a little bit echoey and I hope we can get past it. And maybe I should turn the air off. Is that making a crazy noise? So in today's video, I wanted to give my interpretation. Kind of, this is honestly one of my daily routines and I feel like a huge trend on social media is like this clean girl aesthetic and look. And I'm embarrassed to say I had to like extensively research what this meant, clean girl aesthetic. I was getting some messages saying like, can you give us a tutorial on this? And I didn't really know what people were talking about. I think it's kind of just like glowy, minimalist, fresh, which if you've watched my videos for a long time, you know that's something I already promote and love. And I feel like that's kind of the way to use makeup is enhancing your natural beauty and using it to make you feel better and more confident. And um, I'm going to show you my version of that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm going to do a little hair and makeup look. I recently chopped all my hair off. So the slick back bun or pony doesn't really work for me anymore. But I'm going to show you what I do for my short hair. Um, so I have a few products and whatnot. I hate when my armpits show. I don't know why. The first thing I do is kind of just section off the hair I want for this look and kind of give it like a rough tie. That's kind of the vibe we're going for. And then I'll just take a little bit of water on my brush or product or whatever you have, or you can do it dry. That's the vibe, I guess. I like to do this look with a part, so like that. So once you have like the general idea, to make you feel better, I suck at hair, so if I can do this, I promise anybody can do this. Like the worst hairstylist in the world can do this if I can do this, okay? I'm gonna use any sort of frizz control, mousse, stick, whatever you have. Um, just like a little bit of this. And I'm just gonna run that on top of it. Not through the whole head, just like the top section of it. It's nice and smooth. I like to take a big brush for this step. I just find it so much easier than a comb. Then we're going in with a brush that kind of looks like this. And then when you kind of have a look you're happy with, you can just take your hair tie and tie it in place. And I like to do this kind of tight to give me like a facelift. <laughs> I'm going back in with a little bit of this hair frizz control and I'm just going over all of it. I'm going to take it and flip my hair out with it. If you want, you can take a little wand. It's the Growth Balm Baby Hair. This is once your hair is complete. Now moving on to the makeup. One of the most important things for this clean girl or just very natural minimalist makeup look is your skin prep and how you hydrate your skin before applying your makeup. To start out, we're gonna use Rhodes Glazing Fluid. I think that's what that's called. It's not called that. We're using Rhodes Glazing Milk. Push this into the skin. Oh I also think something a lot of people don't do is let their skincare sit for a few minutes before going in with makeup. You don't want to apply makeup to super wet skin. And then I'll just go in with the peptide, what is this? I feel like I didn't do the most important step in my hair, so while we let our skincare set, I'm gonna go grab my bow and clip it in. I love a big bow. There we go. I like a tinted moisturizer. This has been one of the most used, oldest products on my YouTube channel, probably since my second YouTube video ever posted. I think I used this. That was 10 years ago. I love Laura Mercier. This is not gonna give you a lot of coverage. This is just gonna kind of give you color and even out the skin. And I'm gonna use it on a little bit of like a fluffy brush. And we are just gonna kind of work this in all over the face. Make sure you get your neck always. 
My apologies, I'm using my camera as my mirror, so I'm kind of gonna be staring at myself a lot. It just looks like skin. Like you can still see my eczema a little bit and all that jazz. Cute, you can add more if you want. I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I love my NARS Creamy Concealer and I like to put this on anything I wanna cover up, like eczema or acne or zits or whatever you have and under my eyes to brighten and like in a few other spots. I'm personally gonna cover here. This is where I have eczema. Okay. And then I like to take a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe Ariel collaboration. I love the brushes. And I'm just going to lightly buff this out. This does majority of the work and makes it look so natural and pretty. And then I like to go in with my finger once I'm done and just kind of warm everything up and make it look even more natural. But I just like this because it doesn't take any of the coverage away. So this is like a rough blend, but I would say I'm 90% blending it. With my finger, this is your most gentle finger, and anytime you're working near your eyes, the skin is so delicate for aging, you really wanna be gentle. Um, so just blend. Um, this zit is a little bit harder to cover, so I'm just gonna add a little more on top. Then with a little bit of a lighter concealer, I'm just using this Makeup by Mario one. I'm just gonna do, this dries really quick. So blend this out right away. Just in the inner and outer corners. See? So now I am gonna go in with my cream products. I am going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I also love my Chanel Tan de Soleil. I'm just going to put it here, and here, and right here just to really bronze myself. Right here just gives you a little pout, makes your lips look a little bigger. Then with a the brush, we're just gonna blend this out and buff it all out. You always wanna blend upwards. So, just blend up like this. And then I blend into the hairline. Then with a fluffy brush, this is how I'm gonna blend my nose, just to keep it a little bit more precise. And I'm gonna use my fingers to tap it in a little bit as well. With that concealer brush we used, I'm kind of just, I didn't put any more on it, I'm just kind of taking it down the center and kind of buffing around. It's very natural. For the brush we use with the tinted moisturizer, sometimes I just like to go on top of everything and really blend it out so nothing looks too harsh. For the eyebrows, I am just going to lightly fill them in. I think when I was little, I like over waxed or over tweezed my brows and they don't really grow back up here. So, so I kind of always just like to follow this top line here. Fluff it up. I'm taking a little bit of like an ointment balm because sometimes I feel like eyebrow product dries in my eyebrows and looks weird. So I'm taking this on a spoolie and we're just gonna set the brows lightly. I'm a fluffy brow girl, it's personal preference. For blush, I like something light. I have a few different options. So we could go with like a coral or like a dark mauvey red, or with this pink, this light pink. I'm kind of leaning towards this. Yeah, that's so pretty. The same brush I use for the bronzer on the back of my hand. I'm just going to let the product kind of soak up into the brush and then just tap onto the cheeks. This blush is clean beauty, so it's really natural. This gives like a really pretty wash, but it's nothing too crazy. I don't like too much blush, but this color is stunning. Little nose, why not? That same blush on a little fluffy brush and just pop 
pop it on the eyes. I love how that like all just really ties together. For highlight, I've loved my Benefit Watts Up for years. This is tried and true. Just take it on my hand. This looks very natural when anything is applied with your hand. And just put it on top of the cheekbone, wherever you like your highlighter. I'm gonna do it here. And of course, guess what I'm gonna say next? Tip of the nose. Just like that, I think it's a really cute highlight. Everything's really coming together. I'm gonna add some freckles. This is my freck pen, I really like this. And I really like to add it sometimes like where I have a breakout, so like there. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. I like my Laura Mercier translucent powder a lot. Take a little bit, tap her off. I'm only applying this under my eyes or if you get oily somewhere. You don't wanna do too much. I just like to go right under my eye and a little in this area. That's it for me, personally. I just looked in the mirror and saw I had a fly away. Don't know how long that was there for, but an easy fix. I'm gonna do the tiniest bit of mascara. It's so little that I don't even think you'll notice and I'm not gonna really extend it too much. I'm gonna keep it at the root like that. So it just adds like thickness, but not length. You can see a difference, but it's not too intense. It's looking good. I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Colorstay Lock Setting Mist. This is just to make everything even more natural, if that's possible. Like, it still looks like my skin. This is my glow screen for the body. We love this stuff. Just makes you sparkly. And lastly, for the lips, I want this to be a pretty pinky, glossy look. I'm using Pillow Talk. And then I'm taking some of Rhodes, I think this is her Jelly Bean one, yeah, Jelly Bean. And it's just a cute little jelly, sparkly pink. There you have it, that's the completed look for this minimalist clean girl makeup. You can see how natural it looks. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll link all the products I used down below and on my like to know it. I already chose my giveaway winners, I DM'd you guys. I was overwhelmed with the response and how many people entered and we're so excited about it and so hopeful so i really want to do more giveaways in the future and i definitely will i love you all and i'll see you next week